Joining me now to talk uh, more about this and what is happening in education is our own Meg Kilgannon, Senior Fellow for Education Studies here at the Family Research Council. Meg, welcome back. Thanks for having me, Tony. It's great to well, be here. This is exciting stuff for me. Uh, you know, as a uh, our family homeschooled, uh, you know, all of our kids, we still got one in the pipeline. Uh, but the uh, this is now become, there's so many resources out there, so many options for parents. And, and now that they've seen what their kids have been exposed to, and they've actually spent time with their kids, in most cases, uh, they say, you know what, let's try this. Yeah, it is a really wonderful time. I think it's important to just remind everybody that what was happening during the pandemic was not homeschooling. It was schooling at home. Yes. And those are two very different things. So if you're on the fence about wondering if you can do it, imagine what you could accomplish if you were in charge of the curriculum, you set the schedule of the school day, and you covered the material that you wanted to cover within the grade, the guidelines of a, of a grade level. How exciting could that be? Yeah. So I hope that people will think about that and 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 give it give it some serious serious consideration. Now all of the activities that homeschoolers are free to enjoy normally are back open because those were all closed as well last year. So those kind of trips to the zoo and trips to museums and things that that homeschoolers are so great about putting together field trips and co-ops and things, all of that's going to be available again this year. So it really is a great time to consider maybe this is for you. Yeah, it was interesting. I, 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 I was shocked, frankly, that the AP story was so um, straightforward and, and, and didn't put a negative spin and, you know, try to make these people look like they have three heads or something. But they, they actually talked about, you know, one of the biggest challenge is to unschool you know, because you've been conditioned to think a particular way. And that's actually one of the hardest things that homeschool families have initially is to say, oh, we don't have to follow, we don't have to have a ring a bell and everybody be in their desk at a certain time. And another thing that they said, with all of the behavioral issues we have going on in school today and all this extraneous stuff, they're able to get the actual schoolwork done in a very, very short period of time compared to what they spend on a bus and going to school just because they're able to get right to it. Exactly. And and it's tailored for the needs of your child, right? It's not your kid is sitting through a lesson that maybe they already understand or your child is struggling with something and not getting the, the help that they really need because they're in a classroom full of other students who also need help, right? You, the, the, the parent is there, whether it's the mom or the dad, usually it's the mom, but someone is there, even an older sibling can help with, with uh, younger siblings who are learning concepts that yeah. are difficult, right? Yeah. It's, a, it's a really a beautiful well, time of, of learning. That's a really good point because when you have older siblings that will teach the younger, you actually acquire more knowledge when you teach. And so teaching is a really good function in learning. I mean, because when you teach someone else, you got to learn it yourself so you can teach it. So it really is an incentive uh, in this. Um, Meg, uh, we're, we're almost out of time, but I want to say this. You know, we, I, encourage, I encourage families, if they can, to get their kids out and homeschool them. But we don't want to abandon the public schools. We need people on school boards. We need teachers, Christian teachers, to go into the schools. Very quickly, we have a resource available on training folks how to run for school boards. Tell them about it. It's our, our boot camp uh, that we did in June is available online. It's at frcaction.org slash schools. And all of the sessions are there. They're recorded separately. So you can pick the one that you like or listen to all four of them. Um, there, It's just a great resource. We hear from school board members, from issue experts, from community activists. There's something for you to do for your local public schools, and we really hope you'll think and pray about what that is and get busy doing it. And there's more to come. More to come. All Absolutely. right. Meg Kilgannon, always great to talk with you. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Tony.